In this video, I'm going to discuss the ways that you can work with numbers before a dash in the Excel. The first way I'm going to do it is with a formula. Here I have a list of addresses and the house number is, is the number before the dash normally. And so I have, um, I have uh, a four digit address here and I have six and I have, so it, it's, it's giving me all kinds of it. And so now let's look at how I've done this. So um, if I put in um, 99999-51st, uh, uh, then what it's going to do when I, I, when I drag down the formula, it's, it's doing this. Now the easiest way for me to show you this is bring up the function box. And so I'm using the left function. So I'm doing left A6 and I'm doing a find. Now I don't know how many digits there are in, in the number before the dash. So I'm going a find and I'm looking for the dash in A6 and I'm going let one less just because um, I don't want the dash itself, I want the number before it. And so that's how, instead of doing left and then I do five, like I was saying, I, I don't know the number of digits before this, so I have to find the dash. And I am, I am doing it by finding the dash and then deciding how many, how many values there are before the dash. So that's how you do it with a formula. I'm gonna show you how I did it with VBA. In VBA, I have a, a barcode system here where they enter the part number. So let's go um, 8888. And then when I press enter, which the, the barcode scanner does automatically, it enters in the, the door that it came in and the person who did it, and I'm obviously working in this, uh, in this warehouse. So let's press enter. Now I can change this to, um, to another second shelf. Which is supposedly another place in the warehouse. And then, so if I put in the part number, I wanted to go with this, this one. I wanted to search just by the number, the numbers before the 888. So I go 8888 and I press enter again. And there it goes, and it, we have um, a different place, but we still have the part number, and so that we're tracking the time that it's taken for me to go from here to there, and so it's 34 seconds. Now, um, I'm doing it so that I can enter the same part number again, and so let's put this um, west door. Okay, and then I'm going to put 888. 8888 again, and it's going to start all over again. And then if I did it again, um, say we're going to the west door again. And there, there's the time. It took me eight seconds to go from one place to the other. Now, let me show you the code because it's kind, kind of interesting. I will, of course, include the VBA code in my description of my video. Now, um, let's go to the top here. And so I call uh, call it number before I've uh, d declared uh, part number or part and location as string, barcode is a string, um, last row and I as long. Now the left string, um, I've been using numbers for my, um, for my part numbers, but this, if you wanted to use letters, you would use a string instead of a long. A range is range, row and Z is long, and find row is range. Okay, so I have, um, I will show you that after. I have um, a if change uh, worksheet, and then it calls this up. So I say active sheets uh, to select if, if is empty, active sheets to then go to Andy. So if there's nothing in there, don't bother doing anything or else what you're going to do is the part number equals active sheets. So active sheets, um, the part number is 22, which is our B cell here. Now then I test um, that there's um, an active sheet 21, which is in a location. 
make sure there's something in there. And the actor sheet too has a part number then. And then the barcode equals the part number plus the dash, plus um, the location, plus the person who's uh, the person who's the operator, which is me. Um, and that that's where, where it goes. Now we determine what the last row is, basically doing rows count down to the bottom, um, one up and then going so that we have a new row. Now I'm doing a for loop here and I'm doing four row equals four, which is this row, which starting where it starts from. Um, now, what I'm doing is I'm testing if there is um, a barcode in the, and I'm testing if there is a bar, both a barcode and if the cells row offset two, so so that would be the cell right here. If, if this one, um, if this one's empty, so if we already have a barcode and this one's empty, then it's gonna continue. And then I have underneath here, I have a do while where that if the second one is not empty, then it goes to try again, which is down at the bottom right here. So if it passes all these tests, then it, it does an in string, which is basically the similar to the find that we did in our formula. It's finding the location of the dash in this cell. And then what we're doing is we're doing um, left string is what I've called this one. And so I'm doing a left function again with this cell and I'm doing Z minus one so that I have um, so that I have I don't have the dash in the formula. Now if left string equals part then what it's doing is it's putting uh, the information here uh, the barcode and the times in um, all of the cells down here and when it's done all this then it goes um, it we go back and we select our where our part goes so that it's always there. And then we go to ND, which is at the end of my um, the end of my code here. Now, if it doesn't, um, if it can't find the part number, basically it goes down and it follows these steps at the bottom. It follows these steps at the bottom. So it just basically enters the um, it basically just enters the, the new stuff in the in the new in the next row. So that's how um, I'm using, I'm working with the numbers before a dash, both in the formula and the VBA. Check out my introduction to VBA course. I'll have a link on my sheet. Please subscribe.